Are you living in pain? Is it joint pain or muscle pain? If so, stay tuned. Welcome to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow, MD, and Dr. Thomas Grove, DO, from the Joint Rehab and Sports Medical Center in West Los Angeles. This is the program that can give you effective solutions for the pain you've been living with. Dr. Darrow is a medical doctor board certified through his studies at UCLA. And Dr. Darrow uses stem cell and platelet-rich plasma to heal your body. He teaches about the use of stem cells, PRP, and prolotherapy. Dr. Grove is a regenerative medicine specialist and an expert in ultrasound-guided injections with extensive experience as an athlete and strength and conditioning coach. Today's program could open up a new life without pain for you. To speak with Dr. Darrow and Dr. Grove, call 866-870-KRLA. That's 866-870-5752. Ask for a copy of Dr. Darrow's book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy. Regenerate, don't operate. Now, here's Dr. Darrow with his co-host, Dr. Thomas Grove. Well, hi there, Dr. Darrow and Dr. Grove. Hello, Linda Valens. Hello, Dr. Grove. How are y'all today? Good morning. My daughter's moving to Atlanta, so she's going to be talking y'all soon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. I hope she comes back with a cute little southern accent. She start, <laughs> she's starting law school in the, in the uh, late summer. So Congratulations. Very exciting. That's exciting. Yeah, very, very exciting time for the family. So anyway, today we're going to talk about stem cell and platelet therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. That's the title of our book. It's got a foreword by the lovely Suzanne Summers. May she rest in peace. We love her. And uh, we're going to talk today, and Dr. Grove is our science expert, and he is our main injector in the office now. So we'll get into some studies on how stem cells and platelets work to help with your orthopedic issues and uh, anything from uh, back of the head pain, neck pain, spine pain, rib pain, low back pain, uh, hip pain, knee pain, finger pain, ankle pain, foot pain, you name it, from the top of the head to the bottom of the foot. And Dr. Grove is amazing with the ultrasound, which is a device we use to look inside the body it's not the type of ultrasound that heats up the body for physical therapy. But it's like a camera. It looks inside, and he can diagnose exactly what's going on. Don't get caught in your MRIs or your X-rays or your CT scans. They don't tell the truth about what's going on. They're static, meaning that nothing is moving when they're done. And uh, with the ultrasound, Dr. Grove can actually look at tissue as he's moving the body around. He can find things that never even show up on an ultrasound. And then sometimes it's the opposite. Very often we'll read things on the ultras on the sorry on the MRI that aren't real. Uh, over uh, MRIs are overly sensitive. So I'm going to give out the phone number right now. We would love to hear from you and try to stump us with tough questions about about your orthopedic issues. You know, if you're shy, call anyway. Pretend you're your mother or your father or your friend. And the phone number right now to call us live in the studio, 866-870-5752. That's 866-870-5752. If you want to call the office and get a free consult with our staff, you can call 800 300 9300. That's a free phone consult. And um, if you want to watch videos of us doing the procedures, just go to the website, www.jointrehab.com. That's www.jointrehab.com. Every page on that website has a spot where you can email us, and we answer your emails every single day. So one way or another, we want to communicate with you. And uh, Dr. Grove and I both give out our our cards that have our cell phone number on them. And we always laugh and tell people you can call us 24 hours a day. Call us in the middle of the night. It never bothers us. When we're sleeping, we turn off our phone, but we'll call you right back. So never be shy with us. We're uh, loving people, 
loving doctors, and we love our patients. And we'd love if you'd call in. Give us a buzz right now at 866-870-5752. Oh, Let me repeat, and then we'll get to Alicia. 866-870-5752. I just saw her pop up on the screen. Alicia, Dr. Mark Darrow, Dr. Thomas Grove, how are you today? Hi, I'm well, and how are you? I'm living it up, as always. Dr. Grove, are you living it up? Living it up. Alicia, how are you? <laughs> I'm very well, both of you doctors. Um, I just want, I really had to call in. I have been, uh, I was a former athlete, so and I was an equestrian, so lots of pretty egregious chronic injury. And I um, have been privileged to go to Dr. Darrow for injections for several years, starting with PRP and just recently did the stem cell. And then I also uh, was attended by Dr. Grove. And I just have to say, both of them are extraordinary. I was in such pain. I was actually partially paralyzed for a period of time. So that left me with debilitating neck pain. And starting with Dr. Darrow, who Dr. Grove is relatively new, and I'm, we're so happy to, I know I have no other patients, we're so happy to have him as well, um, that neck pain so greatly reduced that I was able to sleep through the night. And that was phenomenal. And that was with PRP and um, the prolotherapy. And my experience with Dr. Darrow, and then I want to share about Dr. Grove, my experience with Dr. Darrow is that, and I've been around a lot, Six of my immediate family members are docs. I've been around a lot of doctors for various reasons. Dr. Darrow is not only an incredibly brilliant doctor and a very caring one, but he's a true healer. And the, and the two do not always go together in my experience, but that is absolutely unqualifiedly my experience with Dr. Darrow. I do feel that things have occurred for my body that went beyond just the injections, and the injections are amazing. But but I my experience was very positive. The whole staff is incredible, and that was also to, in a different way. My experience with Dr. Grove, who was so, who was I don't want to say equally excellent because I probably get in trouble because you know I've been going to Dr. Darrow forever. But I'm going to say differently excellent. Um, Dr. Grove was so, first of all, made me feel so comfortable, you know, and he said, you know, I know it's different. I'm new. And he's just incredible. He was explaining as he went through the ultrasound, ah, here's a tear. Here's why you have this pain. Here's exactly, uh, you know, what we're going to do. And I felt, I, I immediately relaxed and felt like I was in incredibly capable hands. And then he explained this incredible study, and, and please correct me, doctors, because I'm probably going to not get it exact, um, that showed that if, with a complete ACL tear, which I had, or I suppose still have, um, that that prolotherapy and stem cell, and I wasn't sure if it was which it was, but that injections are equally efficacious as surgery, which is completely phenomenal to me. And of course, surgery has so many downsides. So I just right there and then I just when I'm unless it's something egregious, I'm never getting surgery again. I am just coming, continuing to get these life, you know, these 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 really have restored my life. Um, and allowed me to be active. So I cannot, I'm sorry to keep going on and on. <laughs> no, we don't I, mind. <laughs> I, <laughs> I cannot recommend this, the, these two and their whole practice enough. I, it's always a positive experience. I love these two doctors. I also love the staff, you know, just Amanda, Christina, et cetera, Michelle, they're just, so positive. They make you feel so cared for. They so know what they're doing. They're so thorough. So yeah, uh, you know, and people, if you want to, if you want to know from an, <laughs> a pretty objective uh, opinion, you're welcome to reach out to me and I will ha- be happy to, um, to share my experience. Well, speaking of reaching out to you, Alicia, I know that you you do some type of a coaching and what is that that you do actually? If you don't mind talking about yourself. 
Well, very briefly, I'm a spiritual intuitive, and I do also have several certifications in life coaching. So it's really doing my best to be a conduit of that which is the source of healing. Well, that's amazing. I know your your work is amazing. Do you want to give out your phone number so people can get a hold of you? Sure. My phone number is 310-409-7648. That is my cell. I do have an office number, but, you know, that's a strong. I feel so strongly about these guys, and I feel so strongly about saving you from my mistake, which was having surgery, knee surgery, and, you know, if you're considering it, you know, and you want an objective opinion, I am crazy busy like all of us, but feel free to reach out and I will tell you about these guys. So what happened? You, did you have an ACL repair some time ago? No. Uh, I so wish I didn't. I had both a meniscal and an ACL repair. I had a full ACL tear. I wish I did not. I had not participated in either surgery. Both are so hard on the body. I had a full ACL tear, and I had the surgery. You know, they put in a cadaver, and and of course, it's a massive. The, the, the surgeon, you know, and no no offense against surgeons, but he was very like, oh, we'll have you jogging in three months. I'm like, well, that sounds good. <laughs> it's over a year later. I am walking. I am not definitely not jogging, and not anywhere close to jogging. A year later, massive PT and. When I went to uh, last doc, I saw the the time before I saw Dr. Darrow, I saw Dr. Grove. He had to remove a bunch of fluid. I don't know how many cc's it was because my ACL had torn again and I had the whole full and complete surgery. Jeez. So just saying, please, guys, consider not doing the surgery and instead going and getting injections and having your body heal itself. Well, Alicia, one thing for sure is you are a great speaker. <laughs> you should be up in front of people. That sounds pretty good, Doc. Yeah. <laughs> I'd go to us. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> Alicia, um, so I'm going to give out your phone number. If anybody wants to talk to Alicia about her experience, she's been very kind offering that. And also, she's a spiritual intuitive. And I know a lot of people that she has helped tremendously. They just adore her. And her phone number, from what I wrote down here, tell me if this is correct or not, Alicia, is 310-409-7648. Is that correct? That's correct. All right. Oh, I'll give it out, wanna, give it out once more because I'd love people to call you. 310-409-7648. Alicia is an amazing person. I think you were an actress for a while, weren't you? I was an actress, my dear, like, I don't know, decades ago. So, yes, I was. <laughs> uh, but I do want to say one quick thing, um, it's, which is that when they say that they give out, when, when Dr. Darrow and Dr. Gross give out their cell phones, it's absolutely true. And they, both of them, at least my experience, is they will call you the day after the injections and just answer any questions and make sure you're doing fine. What doctor? of their caliber gives out their cell phone, I ask you, because I don't know any, that's for sure. Well, you know, I have a funny story about that. I had a uh, friend of mine that I'd known for years and referred a lot of patients to. He was a, uh, sorry, urologist. And mm -hmm. I called him on a Sunday. And Dr. Grove and I take calls, you know, 24-7. We don't, we don't have a, an on and off button. Anyway, so this guy's my buddy, and I've sent him patients, okay? And I called him up on a Sunday, and he says, Mark, I don't work on Sundays. Call my staff tomorrow. And I, I, he pretty much hung up the phone on me. And I never called his office again. I never referred anyone to him again because that's not, to me, what being a doctor is all about. Being a doctor is someone who's there to make you feel good. You know, sure, you need a good technician, no question about it. But I don't want just a good technician. There are good technicians in medicine who are also nice people who are open to the conversation. And um, both Dr. Grove and I are very open. And um, if you do come in as a patient, you will have our cell numbers. And again, feel free to call us. We love, we love talking to people. We love what we do. Dr. Grove and I talk at the end of every day. We get together and we're so grateful for being able to help people. And we have so many healings that go on. 
And we marvel at it. We marvel at this work that we fell into. Mine was from, gosh, it was so long ago uh, when I was at UCLA uh, resident there. And um, I was injected in my wrist, which healed 50% overnight. And then I self-injected my own shoulder that healed 100% overnight. And it's not always like that. You know, it's not this magical thing. It just makes sense. You put these cells in, platelets or stem cells, and they stimulate tissue to grow back. And it's it's not a miracle, but it is a miracle. You know, we can't say as doctors do this, it's going to be a miracle. It doesn't work on everybody. And the reason for that is many people are too active. And I remember back in the day, Alicia, when you had something called soul dance. And mm-hmm. uh, and yeah. when you dance, you really fling your body around. And I, I caught you <laughs> doing soul dance and leading a <laughs> bunch of people after I had injected you. And you yeah. said, how did you know I was doing that? I said, because I saw your, the recording of you doing it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> busted. Busted. And uh, that's one of the biggest issues we have. We have a woman now that we're treating, and she just can't be inactive to let it heal. And so uh, she has had some parts of her body heal, but the main thing now, what is it, Dr. Grove, her ankle? Ankle, yeah. yeah. So like the doc's talking about, you know, this doesn't work for everybody, but by far the most common reason why we don't get, uh, you know, optimal results with a patient is because they're just too active, which is a good thing, honestly. Like, I, I want you to feel like you need to be active, but you have to have some discipline to actually not be exercising in that initial healing period uh, after your, your treatment. Reason for that is when you have too much, like, mechanical force going through tissue that's actively trying to heal, uh, you don't actually get that initial uh, healing response that is going to give you the long-term pain relief. Um, so even though you might feel a little bit better, uh, even, you know, a day after, a couple of days after, you really got to lay low for uh, for two weeks to give yourself the best chance for that healing to become something that's permanent for you. So it's a good thing that you want to be active, but you have to have some discipline to to take it easy for a couple of weeks after the treatment. Yeah. And, and to be fully transparent, some people don't heal because um, they're taking anti-inflammatory medications, and we need a little burst of inflammation to bring fibroblasts to the area. Those are cells that that create collagen, and collagen is the major constituent, the major protein of the body. It's in every cell in our body, or every tissue in our body, I should say. And um, cartilage is made out of collagen. So if we're going to grow the collagen, which is the cart, which is a constituent of cartilage, you got to let it grow and you've got to not take anti-inflammatory medicine for a while because that'll actually block the healing. Some of the other failures are because the doctors don't use ultrasound. They don't even know where their needle is going. So, um, you know, they do it by touch or whatever. And there's some areas of the body you can do that. But if you've got a small joint like the shoulder joint or a small tear there, um, you've got to be able to see where you're going. And then we have, um, the failure of people that don't treat enough. They come back after we, we visit with everybody two weeks and when they come back, it's a free consult. If they treat, they have to pay for it. But if it's a free consult, they come in for, we analyze what happened and we show them what they're doing. And some people come back and go, it didn't work. Well, honey, you didn't work it sometimes, right, Alicia? <laughs> right. I do learn my lesson that was many years ago, and I will say that I am a sloth after treatment, and that is exactly what my body needs to heal. Sure. I and then a, some people another... some people fail the treatment because they have what I call a bad doc. And um, I know a lot of people go down to Panama, and I've talked to some of them where they had failures, and I said, did they use ultrasound when you went down there? And these guys are paying like 30 grand for a treatment. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's just a waste of money. And they say, no, it was a nurse that did it, and the nurse didn't use ultrasound. And I said, where'd they put the needle? And it was in the wrong place for what the problem was. So that's what I call the bad doc syndrome. And then um, the obvious thing is if you're not using an ultrasound where it's needed, that needle is not going to go where it's supposed to go. And very few doctors use ultrasound. Dr. Grove and I do. He's better at it than I am. Um, He's been trained by the best and um, it was so funny. He came in um, August in 19, I'm sorry, in 2023. And he followed me with patients for a month. And after one month, 
he sat me down and said, I don't want you in the room anymore. <laughs> 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 and so I let him go free, the stallion running 100 miles an hour free. And then I would sit in with him and watch what he did. And I still do today from time to time because he's doing most of the injections. And um, I marvel at his ultrasound technique. It's just amazing what he can see. I don't have the vision. I don't have the eyes that he has to be able to see these minuscule things. And it, he's so wonderful. He's such a good guy. And the way he explains what he sees to the patient, what's going to happen, he's a very, you know, if you looked at him, you'd never know it because he's six two, two 230 pounds of steel. <laughs> he was he was the captain of the uh, of the Cornhuskers, you know, football team in Nebraska years ago, and he's he's just this handsome, wonderful guy, but he's really sweet, and he has the touch, he has the healing touch. I'm going to give out the phone number, Alicia. We're going to let you go. God bless you, and uh, the phone number to call us at the studio is eight six six eight seven zero five seven five two. That's eight six six eight seven zero five seven five two alicia god bless you and thank you for calling in and we'd love some more callers if you don't catch this right now and you don't catch the phone number and you catch this one it's the office the office number you can call our staff get a free phone consult with the staff is 800-300-9300 that's 800-300-9300 and if you want to watch videos and and send emails you go to the website that's www.jointrehab.com. The website has more science on it that you're going to find anywhere else on this topic. I work on that website every single day of my life, weekends included, vacations included. I always have my laptop with me. I always want to be updating everything and educating. A big part of what we do is we educate and um, people need to get educated because they can't believe this is real. You know, what you heard from Alicia is real. And, you know, I, I don't know if you're listening to the show or not, Alicia, but when she came in with, with the, quote, ACL rupture, I said, you don't have an ACL rupture. And if you do, your knee is tight. It doesn't need a surgery. And people get snookered into surgery. They think it's the quick fix. The surgeon told her, uh, what would she just say, three months and she'd be out jogging again? Yeah, that's that, that so never, ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We hear yeah. it all day long from people that had surgeries where they were promised things. We didn't promise nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. Yeah, like anything in medicine, you can't have 100% guarantee. But like Doc's talking about, we just we're here to educate, right? We've been in the surgical side. We're we're in the non-operative side here with our regenerative medicine injections, and we just want to give you a you know what your options are, right? Not guaranteeing anything, um, but we're just being transparent about you know what the risks are of some of these surgeries and what the outcomes might look like for you. Um, and we're just more conservative. We'd rather do the things that are least invasive first uh, and see if we can get you relief that way. And now we've got all these studies that are also backing up these these patient outcomes, right? And patients like. Alicia, that are calling in and sharing their stories. Uh, it's amazing stuff. You know, you see it enough. You, you really want to try to convince everybody, but you can't, right? We're here to try to educate you and just give you information, make you feel comfortable. I think what you said is really the most important thing, which is be conservative. Do the thing that is easiest for the body with the least side effects. And, um, you know, I laugh with patients and I say, if you're smart, don't go to a doctor unless you have to. Because... Um, Dr. Grove, what's the term for um, uh, when someone is hurt by medicine or by doctors? Uh, like iatrogenic injuries? I iatrogenic, yeah. Yeah. Iatrogenic means um, something that's caused by the doctor, by the medication, by the surgery, by whatever it is. And um, we just find that there's way too many people that come in that have uh, had iatrogenic medical problems and one of the biggest ones that we see obviously because we do musculoskeletal is surgery stay away from it if you can help it it's a last last resort all right folks we're going to go to the break stick with us and we'll be right back god bless you all <laughs> 